Hi, I'm Trevor Tan from The Straits Times and by now you might have heard about the news of Trace Together check-in being compulsory at public venues by end December. This means no safe entry at popular venues like restaurants, workplaces, schools and shopping malls. And you have to use either the Trace Together app or Trace Together token. And so today we have the Trace Together token with us and we are going to try to pry it open to see what is inside. We are doing this handout under the close supervision of Yang Boon from Gulf Tech. Do not try this at home because if you do so, you might be prosecuted for damaging government property. That's it. So you can see that this is actually the uh, main Bluetooth uh, radio plus the microprocessor. This is the Bluetooth antenna and this is a memory to store all the records. Now. We have Kevin Reed, Chief Information Security Officer from cyber protection firm Acronis, to help us ascertain what GovTech has said. What I suspect that you, you can do here is, because there are contacts over here, you probably can connect to this device and, and read the information of the flash. But you definitely would need to have a physical access to it. No, they, uh, so the GPS is very distinctive, really. Like you, you, if you've seen them, uh, when you open it up, it's very easy to, to okay. identify it. So it's definitely not here. So there is nothing in schematics in here that would rise uh, my even remote suspicion that the information could be read remotely. So there you go. The trace together token is absolutely safe and is not able to track your movement in real time. This data will only be accessed by MOH personnel in the event of you being suspected of close contact with a COVID-19 patient. So bring it out wherever you go, or you can always download the Trace Together app on your smartphone.